process. All you have to do, the more correct you can get it, as you know, the higher the score. It sounds so easy. But it's not. And this is exactly why most people never make it to second level. Okay, we're doing a counter canter. And what we're doing different now is we're... This is the eighth time we've asked Bo to be this connected for second level, which means Susan's asking him to step up more from her leg into a receiving hand before he was ridden in a light rein because he was okay with that, but you can't get by with that in second level. They have to be connected and, and on the contact. Good. That's it. Keep him back on his haunches, and you know how to do that. And what he'll do is you'll notice he'll keep switching the reins on you. Do you feel that? So go back to, can you get him on the outside rein and leg first? Shift him back with your right left rein to the right hind. Good. It's all right. It's a new balance for him. So this is Bo getting a little overwhelmed. This is a very hard exercise. So we just let him work it through it. He has a history of, he was a, had a lot of behavioral issues when I first got him. That's it. Okay, now make sure he's on his, in, on his hind leg. So shift him a little bit first. Make sure you've got control of the back end before you start your counter. It's all right. Before you start a counter canter, you've got to have control of the back end. Oh, good, Susan. Good, good. Your outside rein is too long for a counter canter for this time of his... Yep, that's all right. He's saying you that's not... He doesn't like it. This is his weak side. He isn't sure how to do it and Susan's learning how to shorten her rein to help balance him better. That's it. Supple him twice as much. Get him more active on his right hind. That's right. Keep him active on the right hind. Keep your hands close to the neck. That's right. And just do like mini serpentines or whatever. You know, the shallow loops and you can do the, the, the counter canter from those two. It's alright. He's trying to feel where his back end is. And when the rider's doing this, you'll see they're going to be thrown all over the place. It's the first time we've really asked Bo to stay balanced between her leg and reins. Somewhat straight now, too. It's right. Keep him connected. Keep him con It's all right. It's all right. Again, it's hard because he doesn't understand why you're holding the rein, the contact, and asking him to drive forward. It makes no sense. Good. Supple him more. A lot more. There. There. Do you feel that leap? So remember, with your leap, add the inside leg. Bump, bump, bump with your right leg, bump with your right leg. Good, good. Yep, shorter outside rein, bump with your right leg, bump with your right leg, bump with your right leg. Praise him. Good. Keep him on the right hind, keep the right hind active. Put him on the outside rein and leg right here on the left. That's right, so that he puts his weight, that's it, get him more active when you do it. So everything now is right in his back end. Good, good, praise, that's it, that's it. He says, oh man, this is hard, mom. Good, good, make sure that rein is wrapped around his neck. And by that, whichever rein she's putting him into, whether it's the inside or outside, he should be hugging the neck with the base of his neck, the rein with the base of his neck. Make sure he's hugging the rein. That's how you can tell if he's moving from your inside leg. So if he's not hugging the rein on the outside, whatever your outside is, your inside leg isn't keeping him against the outside rein and leg. Good boy. That's all right. Good. That's it, Keep him, get him on the outside rein and leg. Get him more active behind. That's it, and start feeling what he does with his back end. Yep, yep. That's right, he's gotta be more supple. You can feel that, good, Susan. So when he's not supple, you're gonna push him either against your right rein and leg or your left for a couple strides just to check to see if he can connect. Because you can feel when he starts getting that weird movement, he he's not alive on the rein. Keep him alive on the rein. Good, keep him alive on the reins. That's when he's stepping up into her hand. Good boy, keep him alive on the rein. Good!